Okay, hello and welcome. In the last video, we did some cleanup with Jetpack. And in this video, I'm going to take you through a top-down cleanup and setup of an initial WordPress site. So here we are again at WPFunnelDemo.com. And we have some posts here that were put in by the install through SiteGround. If we go to our dashboard, we're going to go down the left side here, touch base on everything, and just take a quick look at everything in one quick video. Uh, on the front of the dashboard, you'll notice that there's different uh, things you could look at. There's WordPress News, Activity, Quick Draft at a glance. If you want to change that up, this can actually, if you want to the, the, remove anything, you just click on things that you want to remove. If things are too cluttered, any of these things can be removed or they can be added back in uh, however you want. As well as if you bring them in here, you can move things around on your dashboard. And as you add other plugins, you'll find that some plugins will add something to this dashboard and then they'll add it to the screen options. So you can basically customize your, your front dashboard to look how you want because it's usually the first thing you see when you um, log into your WordPress admin site. Okay, so we'll go to home and we're still at the dashboard. Now updates, anytime you have updates, uh, you can actually come over to the update. It can check. You can actually force WordPress to check to see if there's any updates on either WordPress, on the themes, or the plugins. Or you can reinstall. Um, you can reinstall your latest version of WordPress if for some reason you feel the need to. Also, if there are any updates to plugins or themes, they'll be listed here and it will tell you what plugin it is and what the change is. And then you can decide whether or not you want to... Uh, install them. Uh, initially here we're at backups are recommended to protect your site before you make any changes. So in another video we'll take a look at that but for now we're just going to leave that alone. Now we go down here to Jetpack. This is the uh, menu for the, the Jetpack, the stats for our Jetpack that we looked at before. And these are the settings, the site stats, and the Akismet. Let's go to Posts. Now, initially, we put in a post. This was just put in WordPress resources at SiteGround for your information, uh, who the author is and the category. Uh, one thing you can normally do, most people do for the, for the basic install, is trash uh, trash your, the, this post because, honestly, you probably don't need it. Uh, you could have checked it earlier and seen if you wanted to read any of it or look at it, but we're going to trash it. And it's not completely trashed until you actually go to trash, and here you can either select this and actually restore or delete permanently is one option. Or we're going to trash it. You can just empty trash. So if you had multiple posts and you didn't want to click and, and choose and apply, you just do empty trash. And it's all gone. Now, the one thing in uh, posts are two things. One, you can set tags so that you could tag posts if you're going to do posts. Uh, you could add tags to posts, which helps with SEO. But the other thing that's important is categories. Now, you have to have at least one category, but the worst thing to do is have a category that's uncategorized. And the problem is, is you can never delete this category. It has to remain here. So what we're going to do, and what you should do on any new install, is come in here and change it. Because uncategorized looks sort of hokey. Normally what I do is call it uh, general. And the slug is just a URL friendly uh, uh, version of that. No parent. If you had other categories, you can do categories and subcategories. You could put a description as here. This is this is the general post category for my blog. Don't need to do that, but if you want to, you know, get very creative and want to really, uh, you know, put a description on all your categories, you can. And then we're going to update. And then we go back to categories. And you see now general. Uh, so that way, the general post will be what any post will default to. And you just don't want to have posts that are categorized as uncategorized because it just looks really hokey. So categories and tags. And here you can actually add tags. If you, had a, if you had a specific niche you were doing, say dogs, you could do different breeds. And you put a name in if, say we, say we did that. And we were going to do poodle. 
Now, normally you could just put poodle in there, add the tag, it'll automatically select the slug as the lowercase version of whatever you put in there. Uh, and then you can keep track, you see, because every time you use that tag on a post, you come in here under tags and it'll actually show you the count. For now, we're going to delete that because we do not need to see poodles in our thing. So that's everything with posts. We saw the posts. If you ever want to add, you just click add new to add a new post. And this is how you're going to add posts. That will be another video. Next, we'll go to media. There's really no media that's probably installed in the site, so we don't have to worry about it. We'll have another video down the road about how to add media, but for now, that's all you really need. Um, if you clicked Add New, it gives you the opportunity to um, upload media, uh, and you can actually either select files from your computer, uh, select a URL, or you could actually drag and drop from File Explorer off uh, another uh, Explorer. You can actually drag stuff in here that it would like a picture, and it would upload. We won't worry about that now, though. So now we go to pages. We have no pages. Uh, if there were pages, they'd be listed here. Uh, and then there's an add new here where you can add pages. This will, of course, be another video, but this is where we do that. There are no pages to delete. It's just a post, so we don't worry about that. This is where our comments would be. If we had any comments, uh, this is where you would come in and you can approve. Um, if you choose to approve comments, and you come over here and approve them before they're actually shown on your site. Because comments on WordPress are very popular for spamming. So sometimes that's why we have the Akismet, because that'll actually, that plugin will help uh, keep a lot of those spammy comments from ever appearing. They'll just put them on the side and then you can go in and delete them, or you can actually let the plugin do it for you. But as far as comments, here is where if you did have comments, you can go look at them, you can approve them, you can trash them, you can say they're spam and then you know kick them out. And in this case, we have feedback. Uh, there's nothing here we need to do. Uh, the next thing is appearance. When you come to appearance, this is where all your themes are for how you look. Normally in a clean install, you'd have at least the most recent, which is seven, uh, 2017, but you also have 2015 and 2016. Um, some people, if they know they're just going to use one specific theme, like they, if they were going to use 17, they could go in here and delete these. Um, but we'll look at that in another video. And this is where you can customize uh, as you go through your themes, you can you can customize different parts based on the theme. You can customize different things of your uh, theme for your website. For now, we're just going to walk back out of that. Uh, and that's all with appearance. I'm going to close that. Uh, then plugins. We look at plugins real quick. We were in here earlier. This is where you can add new. And when you're adding new plugins, uh, you can either upload using a plugin that you've downloaded from a site and you can upload it directly or you can search for new plugins this is a great thing yet again another another video will be coming um, and then we go to users now users is important uh, because typically uh, your first user uh, is usually the the user you use to create your account um, the one thing you can do that's important is you go to your first user we're going to click on edit you can go in here and usually change. I would change the, uh, you could put your name in here. And you can also do a nickname that could be different than the actual name. You don't, never want to show what your actual, now in this case I have admin, which will be changed by the time these videos go out. So somebody can't come in and try to log in under admin and the password that you saw in a previous video. But you can do a, a nickname, say just, you could put Steve. And then you can say display name as Steve. Uh, and then the email is your contact info, which is what we used before. If anything goes on with your website, you'll get an email to this. Uh, everything else here is pretty straightforward. So if anything, you should come in and add a first and last name if you want. Change the nickname and have that as your display so that in posts, um, it actually shows that and not your username that you use to log into the account. And then down here, uh, you can't see it off screen, but it's update profile. Um, there's tools, nothing here important. Then there's settings. Uh, typically settings go from general, which is the site title and tagline, which you chose when you installed the site. But here you can come in and change them if you want. This is notice how we have our, our address is HTTPS because we are a secure site with SSL. Um, and we chose the www being to missing. There's our email again. Um, and then you have whether or not you want to have memberships and have anybody register. That's probably for now. You don't have to worry about that. You can come in here, change your time zone for your website. So for me, I am actually in America near Chicago. 
So you can either choose by a city or you can actually choose uh, if you just do the GMT, you can do the, or UTC, you can do the, the manual offsets. But if you could find your city, you can also put that in there so that your, uh, I'm not in Africa though. Uh, then you lose track of where you're at, uh, Chicago. And then it'll change the time properly and your date format, time format, uh, how you want to do that. And then underneath there is save changes. Um, the other thing is writing. Depending on how you want to do your post, you can do general and then you can have different formats because you can have different formats for posts and you can set what the, what the default is. Um, and also another important thing, you can Google um, update services and pinging for WordPress, but you could actually add more uh, ping sites here so that every time you have a change in your website, it will actually update all these different. Now, rpc.pingomatic.com is one site, but there are many others you could find, actually. Many people will post a list, and you can come in here and post in a whole list of these ping sites that will then let everybody know that you just posted something else. Reading is where when you start doing uh, posts and pages where you can show how many blog pages show at most, how many posts when you first go, how many total posts. Once you actually, now we have no post right now, but if you had more, you could, if you had like 30 posts, it would only show the first 10. Uh, this is also a place where if you had posts and pages and you wanted to change your front page, you'd come in here to reading and it will give you the option of selecting a page as opposed to the default, which is just to show your blog role with the most current post and blog entry at the top. Uh, discussion, it just deals more with articles and comments, nothing important there. Here's some information you can do about media you could change. Now here's the other thing that's very important. Most people will tell you to change your permalink settings. Uh, typically, it's the plane with the, the number and the letter and the and, uh, sometimes day and name. Almost everybody will tell you to usually use a post name for SEO. So every time you do a post, whatever the title of the post is, it'll be wpfunneldemo.com forward slash, and then you can set this over here. Uh, for SEO, post name, and off the screen here, click Save Changes. And then the last is, in this case, sharing where you can connect. Uh, you can do different connections uh, of your blog to your different accounts, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Path, and Google+. Uh, and also sharing buttons. So there's a lot of interesting stuff here. And you can decide where you want to share your, your information and what sites. Um, just so you know, it's there. Uh, but right now, it's sort of beyond the scope of this video. So that's, that's basically it. The biggest part about going through and setting up is making sure to, when you go into post, to make sure you rename the general, the uncategorized to general. Uh, and then you can clear out your posts and pages if you want. Uh, and then the other thing was in uh, settings, uh, most importantly, is the permalinks to change that to post name. Almost everybody will tell you to do that. So we'll save changes. Now you see we deleted that post. So if we come back here and we re, re, uh, reload it, you'll see that right now there is nothing found. And it says ready to publish for the first post. We can start right here. Good to go. So there you go. That's sort of a cleanup. What we did is a top to bottom walk along the left hand menu of our site. And thanks for watching this video, and we will catch you in the next one.